So chicken fried steak, and you actually made a, a, a little bit of this for me the other night yes. to, to test it out on me, and it's delicious. I miss chicken fried steak because I lived in Texas for a long time mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and enjoyed it very much. You know what chicken fried steak is, everybody? Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm the professional chef, and I had no idea. Really? Yeah. I had to look it up. Because you're from California. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, and so you looked it up and you and found I went, out. Oh, great. Yeah. It's like, you can make that. Yeah, absolutely. It's exciting. All right. And we're making it out of what? We're going to make it out of Gardein, which is a meat substitute. It's uh, soy base, pea protein, like little green peas, mm -hmm. and uh, vital wheat gluten. That's what I assume you meant by pea po protein. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and so you could, you could get this basically at uh, lots of grocery stores now. Anywhere, coast to coast. Yeah, Target, Ralph's, Kroger's, Great. all that places. Okay. So here's, what, here's how it comes. We're going to make, usually it's a big piece like this. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to make little bite-sized ones with a dipping sauce so we don't right. slather it up in gravy. Right. So I'm going to let you do it because uh, you're your not going to get clean dirty? and I want to feed it to people. Oh, okay. Okay. So, well, that takes that uh, fun away. So what we do is we just flour it up real quick. Okay. Okay. Then we dip it in cashew yeah. cream. Okay. And um, there's a recipe for this on the website, but it's just water Back and cashews. And okay. Yep, and that's it. Flour, okay. cashew cream, flour. Okay. And that's the same way you would do um, chicken, but you're okay. not going to do chicken because we're right. vegan. All right. Okay. So the oil's nice and hot. Okay. And we're just going to fry them up. Now, it is still something fried, so if people are looking for something, it's not, it's, it's healthier, but it's not healthy because it's fried, right? No, yeah, I don't want to give people the impression that they can just going to turn vegan and, like, drop 10 pounds. Um, they could. Yeah, they could. They if, could gain. Yes. They could eat french fries all day. Right. Yeah. So, but this is better in, in what sense? In, okay, number one, the portions are going to be smaller. Number two, um, it's zero cholesterol because it's animal free. Um, and we're using cashew cream, which is, uh, you know, it's a nut, it's a polyunsaturated fat, all that kind of fun stuff. Okay. Okay, and while we're doing that as a side, we're going to do some uh, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Yeah. We've mm. got uh, some quinoa all right. pasta. All right. So now, does the pasta, the pasta can't have egg in it, but because that's what someone asked me the other day. That mm -hmm. does not have egg in it. No, and most of your dry pastas don't. If you go to make pasta at home, a lot of recipes call for egg. Okay. But you can make pasta without it. I can turn that if you want to talk Great. about the, so the, the mac and cheese. Just flip these, don't burn yourself. Okay. All right, so we've got some no chicken chicken stock going on here. And it's made by Better Than Bouillon. It's a little thing. There it is. And All we're right. just going to throw our pasta in. And we're going to throw in a non-dairy cheese. So you cook the pasta first and then you put it in the pan with the... Yeah, cook the pasta first. And put it in with the... With the uh, chicken no, stock, chicken, chicken the cheese, stock. and a little bit of that cashew cream I was talking about. Okay. And it's just like heavy cream. Now, and what kind of cheese? Because that really is the most, the hardest thing when you're trying to stop eating cheese is finding a good thing that tastes like cheese. Because there's some bad fake cheese. There's some bad rice there. cheeses what out there. What cheese is that? This it, is Follow Your Heart cheese. Okay. It's the same cheese that I use for you. Um, do I keep turning this? How many times do I turn it? Uh, once is good. Okay. When they're nice and golden brown, you can take them out. You can just take them out and put them on the, flour, okay. uh, the paper towels there. Okay. Done. So that will let go. All right. And let the cheese melt, and we're done with that. All right. And um, so the cashew and the, and the almond milk acts as like a butter? Uh, yeah, there's almond milk available. You can make cashew cream, too, and it acts just like a heavy cream. Okay. So now here's, here's where it looks a little um, less healthy, is we're going to make a gravy out of this oil. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to throw the paper towels in there just to soak up some of the oil uh -huh. to get rid of most of that oil. Okay. okay? We're going to do some flour and, okay. and make your gravy, chicken stock. <laughs> So you Heavy add cream. flour and, and what? Fake Watch chicken out. stock. Yep, there and we then, go. And then the... Heavy is, cream. What oh, is it? No, it's not heavy cream. It's cashew cream. Cashew cream. Yes. Some blackening spices. Uh-huh. And some fresh thyme. Okay. And, and that's then it. That, that's the, what you made me the other night. That's the gravy? That's the gravy. That you dip those in? Yes. It's delicious. We have a finished product delicious. here. Delicious. All right. With mashed potatoes. All right. And you can serve those to somebody, too. Okay. And then the, the take out the uh, mac and cheese that looks oh, delicious. Oh, yes, the mac and cheese. Thank you. Now, is that going to be good or is it cold? No, it's good to go. It's warm. All right. All right. I'll, I'll walk around and give this to people. Yeah.